a lot of vets aren't willing to teach you nor uh, show you about some of this equipment that you can get at home that will allow you to do simple semen evaluations. A semen evaluation is so important because of the fact that if you're paying maybe $1,000, $5,000, $10,000, I don't know, um, for a stud fee, whether they're shipping you the semen, whether, you do, whether you're doing the breeding in person, whatever the case may be, it's super important and it's so overlooked. And I'm gonna show you guys some stuff right now that a lot of people aren't using here in the United States. What's going on, Bully Fam? It's your boy, the educator, the scientist, Mr. Double Muscle Line Bulls, bringing you another episode of Breeders Hacks. So today, I got some really cool, fun equipment. Personally, one of my favorites. Um, this is something that you don't see really utilized here in the United States as much in, as in Europe. Um, that's actually where these come from. Um, and these are photometers from Minitube, all right? This is something new that I wanted to share with you guys that is going to be great. Oh, great. It's gonna be amazing when it comes to evaluating semen. We already have our microscopes that we use, but this is something that goes hand in hand with that. And I'm gonna explain why. There's another episode that I go more into detail on, but I had a friend of mine, he paid $7,000 in a stud fee. So we, he paid $7,000 for the person to ship them some semen. And when it got here, half, it, it, the semen wasn't even half of what a normal dog should be producing, um, which was horrible but we wouldn't have caught it if we didn't have this here. So that's why I wanna show that to you guys because the cost of dog breeding, I mean, stud fees can be 1,000, 5,000, I seen it 10,000 end up. You just wanna make sure, even if you didn't pay anything for the stud fee, you wanna make sure that you're putting in good quality semen in the female. Otherwise, breeding's not gonna take. This is super important and, and, and my buddy in Europe even said he doesn't understand why people in the US don't use this as much. So this is from Minitube. I'm just gonna go right into it and I'm gonna show you guys this piece of equipment. This is from Minitube. It's called a photometer. Absolutely amazing. I absolutely love this thing. And what it does is it gives you an exact sperm count. What did you say? What did you say? It gives you an exact sperm count. So when you have semen and it takes, a, you take a very small amount of semen, you load it onto a cuvette, which is like the equivalent of a test strip, put it in, close it, it gives you your sperm count. All you have to do is just do some very, very little math. So that in conjunction with taking a look under the microscope gives us our semen evaluation. So real quick guys, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and perform a test so you guys can see how this thing works. And um, I mean, it's a new product on breedershacks.com. So like I said, I absolutely love this thing. And it's perfect now because Minitube is like, it's like the Lamborghini or Ferrari of reproductive equipment. So to have something like this that's so reasonably priced and for me to now know like super exact numbers on all my studs, even when I'm just opening up one of my studs, so we're gonna quickly go ahead and, and do a collection on our newest stud wishbone um, to see where he's at because we haven't done a semen evaluation on him yet and we're opening him up, him up to the public. So we're gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Um, I'm gonna speed through it real fast just because of the fact that I have plenty of episodes on how to collect from a stud dog, but we really just wanna show you guys you know, how to do a proper semen evaluation. So we're just gonna run through that real quick and then show you guys how to use the photometer and a little bit with the uh, microscope. All right, Bully Fam, so we went ahead and did our collection, right? As you can hear, he's still going. <laughs> but we only collect the sperm-rich fraction, the cloudy stuff. Once it goes clear, I don't even bother collecting anymore because there's virtually no semen in it. So we have our collection here, right? We're just a little bit shy of about two cc's, two mls of sperm-rich fraction. We don't really care for the pre-ejaculate, which is the little bit of clear drops in the beginning. We only want the cloudy in the middle, and then I've done episodes talking about this, and then at the very end, we don't want the clear stuff as well. So you're gonna wanna go ahead, and you're gonna wanna work quickly. It all depends. If you're using the semen just for an evaluation, that's one thing. If you have a breeding or whatever the case may be, you just wanna take what you need and then keep it moving. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take your photometer, right? And you're gonna turn it on. There's a power button right behind it. You're gonna turn that on. It's gonna power this thing up. As that turns on, you'll turn on your microscope. 
And we're just gonna do both of these at the same time, basically. So there's one other thing that you could use if you didn't have um, a photo meter, right? What you could use is what we used to use, which is these counting slides or a hemocytometer. And that basically is, it's a microscope slide. I'll put a picture somewhere here. Uh, it's a microscope slide that basically you do some simple math and it'll allow you to count how many sperm cells are in a box and based off of how many are inside like 10 boxes, that gives you your sperm count for the entire collection. It's a little, it takes a little bit more um, practice to be able to learn how to do that. The photometer does all that work for you. I have videos, if, if you ever buy a microscope from us, uh, you get those videos for free and stuff like that. But anyway guys, we have our microscope, we have our photometer. I'm gonna take our semen now, and we're going to take a pipette. I'm just gonna use my progesterone machine pipette. This should be fine. And we're gonna go ahead and draw out as much, you really don't need much actually, to be honest. And I'm gonna show you guys real fast. I mean, this is a very, collection barely moved. The line barely moved at all. So I'm gonna go ahead, put the cap on this. I'll start with the photometer, right? So you're going to take out your test strips or what they call as cu cuvettes and you're gonna go ahead and take one of these out, right? Now that you got your cuvette, you're gonna take your pipette with semen that you just loaded into it, and you're gonna slowly, you wanna make sure you get no air bubbles in here, otherwise it'll re render the test no good. So you'll slowly release it into here. As you can see, it's slowly filling up. Up, ah, once it's filled, go ahead and remove it. And now we're gonna go ahead and put this on the test strip line. We open up our photometer, because it's ready to go now, it's been enough time. We'll open it up, put this right on, I have it upside down actually. You're gonna close it, and it gave us 253, right? All you do with the number that you get on mini, from your, from your photometer, 253, multiply that by two, that's your sperm count. It's as easy as that because the dog gave us approximately two mLs or two cc's of semen. So you're going to multiply this number by however many cc's um, or mLs of semen the dog produced for you. So if you take 253, multiply that times two, that leaves you with 506. So with our photometers, we wanted to throw in a chart to make it super simple and understandable for someone who wants to do their sperm count. Wishbone is no more than like, you know, 30, 35 pounds. And if you look, he should be, the minimum he should be producing is 300 million sperm cells. He produced 500, which is the equivalent of a 50 pound dog. That goes to tell you he's producing more than enough, exceptionally well for his, his weight. Um, and like I said, this chart comes with our photometers and it's on breedershacks.com in the information center but it's as easy as that. You have your exact sperm count. So now what we'll do is we're gonna go ahead and take a microscope slide now, and we're gonna go ahead and take the semen now, and I'm just gonna do a few droplets. It only, you only need a couple droplets right there on the microscope slide, and that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead now and put this under the microscope to take a look and see. I'm gonna focus in real quick, and there we go. Look at that sperm cells going crazy all over the place. Now, the trick when you're looking at sperm cells under the microscope is you wanna look, and, and you can have them look, come, come show them. You want that at least three quarters of what you see on the screen needs to be motilely moving. Even if I move this slide, look at that. Let me just refocus. Sperm cells all over the place are moving, and I hope you guys can see this on the camera. But long story short, three quarters of what you see on the screen needs to be motile and moving. Um, and that's what's considered ex uh, acceptable. So you wanna see at least three quarters or 75% on the screen motilely moving. This looks more like, I mean like, like 90, because I don't really see any sperm cells that aren't moving. So that's how you easily look at what we call the motility, because how the movement is of the sperm cells, our sperm count, and the last thing that you can do 
um, that I have a video to show, I have videos showing how to do it, is the morphology. Um, we can actually kill off some of the semen so that it's not moving and zoom in and look at the, the structure of the sperm cells and uh, you know see how if they're morphologically, meaning the shape, are, are normal and, and if the dog has produced us uh, good looking sperm cells. But just this quick visual could potentially save you thousands of dollars if you're sent if you have a, a shipment sent to you and um it doesn't look like this doesn't look good to me this is super exceptionally well this is perfect i would i would throw this in the female right away i mean i've had collections that looked like this but then when we looked at it under the photometer the collections weren't as great the counts were relatively low so it's something you just want to be mindful of guys i mean um, this is something that, like I said, I don't know why it's not used as much in the United States. Um, a lot of breeders aren't aware of photometers and having that sperm count is, is, is phenomenal. It's just game, it's game changer. That's really the best way to put it. It's game changer. I love it. I have it. I use one now moving forward, except especially with our microscope to be able to evaluate the semen. I mean, no one is getting past you. Um, <laughs> uh, stud, some stud owners are afraid to send a semen now because they know they can't hide anything. That's important because especially if you're paying to breed to a stud, you deserve to have good, healthy, quality semen, uh, enough to do a healthy breeding. And you need to have, which I don't know if we showed, um, at least 200 million sperm cells to perform a, a healthy breeding. At least that's what they advise over at the University of Pennsylvania. As a serious breeder, um, or if you're just doing this as a service, this is great to be able to offer to your clients because now when semen is getting shipped to you, nothing is getting past you. And um, I, like I said, my buddy, you should have seen the look on his face when we found out the sperm count. He was a little unhappy, but he was happy that we caught it. So anyway, guys, I hope this information was helpful. I hope it was useful. Um, if you want to learn more about some of this stuff, our microscopes, I said, screw it. Right, Sandra? I, I said, screw it. I threw in the semen evaluation kit that shows you how to do a full-blown semen evaluation, even looking at the morphology, the shape of the sperm cells. So we wanted to give everything available to you guys and show you guys what we're using as of now. So I have the semen evaluation kit that comes with the microscope. Um, you get the sperm count guidelines. It's free on the website, um, but it's also going to come with a photometer. We hope that you have happy, healthy litters, and um, we'll see you guys on the next episode of Breeders Hacks.